Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I painted Mortarian's armor. I'll be running you through techniques like glazing and how to use them to achieve ultra smooth transitions like you see here. So let's make a start. To start, the whole model was airbrushed with Citadel Deathworld Forest. The first highlights of Citadel Nurgling Green were applied to the upper parts of the area. The paint was thinned with water, roughly one part paint to one part water. I'm using a size 00 brush for this. I also highlight the lower lip of the knee pad. This is facing up so it will catch the light. Notice how my brush strokes are generally directed towards where the brightest highlights will be. This is because the brush will always deposit the most paints at the end of the brush stroke. Citadel Death Guard Green was then used to blend the highlights. Again this paint was thinned to a 1 to 1 ratio with water. Citadel Rhinox Hide was then mixed with some Death Guard Green and applied to the mid-tones. Rhinox hide was used to paint inside the holes on the armor. Add a little water, but not too much. This will help the paint flow into the recesses. You can see in the top left of the screen is my wet palette. Here I am adding water to make a glaze with the Rhinox hide. This is approximately three parts water to one part paint. This time my brush strokes are going from the mid-tones. Towards the shadows, this is where I want to deposit most of the glaze. When glazing, I remove most of the paint from the brush on a paper towel before I apply it to the model. I will now revisit the Nurgling Green highlights. Notice how little paint is on my brush as I apply it to the model. Death Guard Green is used to blend the highlights. A second glaze of Rhinox Hide was applied. Notice how the brush mark is only just damp. There is no pooling of paint and it dries very quickly. This is to prevent tide lines and is because I always use the paper towel trick to remove most of the paint from the brush first. Several glazes need to be applied. This is because the paint is very diluted and we are hardly applying any each time. Citadel Incubi Darkness will be the next color I used. Again this was thinned down to a glaze with water. Three to four parts water to one part paint. This glaze was applied from the mid-tones down towards the shadows. Try not to get too much on the highlighted areas.
reapply the nurgling green to areas that need it, particularly the bottom edges of the holes. I used a smaller 000 brush for this. Some Death Guard Green was then used to stipple between the highlights and the mid-tones. Apply another Incubi Darkvus Glaze. Glazing like this creates smooth transitions between layers. The next highlight was with Citadel Iomax skin. Again this was thinned with water to a 1 to 1 ratio. These highlights were applied to a smaller area than the previous Nurgling Green highlights. Use some Nurgling Green to blend the highlights in. You can thin this with more water. Note the stippling motion I'm using to apply the paint. Water was then added to the Death Guard green to make a glaze. It was applied to the mid-tones. Another glaze of Rhinox hide was applied. and then a final glaze of Incubi Darkness. Here we have the finished knee pad. These techniques can be used for painting many other areas of your models. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did please like and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.